I told you last week that Anne-Marie Paserno would drop by uh, on this week's show just to give us an update on uh, her new release, uh, Bonfire, which is just doing staggeringly well around the world, charting all over the place. Um, and it's been such an arduous task for her to get this done. But Anne-Marie, welcome to the show again. Thank you, Paul, and thank you, Hamilton Radio and all the affiliates for yeah. airing the Paul Max Brandy Show. Absolutely. But also uh, for the bonfire success. Now, we played it on the show early on, but every station around the world has picked it up. How good is that one? Yes, it's absolutely awesome, and that's what we were hoping to achieve to not only get a great song out there and a song that's positive and encourages people but also to help all the indie artists that contributed on the track yeah sure look it's a it, it's a great song um, uh, we love it on the the super indie show but it, it, it's just done exceptionally well all over the place and uh, you know I know it was hard putting all the people together to uh, to get it done uh, must have been very painful for you <laughs> Yeah, more like a face plant down the road. But yeah, <laughs> it's no, it's, you know, it's pretty well known on my Facebook circle that I had an accident right before we went in the studio. So, yeah, you sure um, Lisa Coppola was very instrumental in getting and helping me to get that song into the studio when I was pretty much injured and really down on my luck. And uh, yes, the song has done really well. Um, you know, it's really wonderful that any station, first of all, plays an independent artist because we have to either self-fund or get fans and and people to sponsor us to get the money sometimes for all the recording sure. and to compete against sure. people with labels and promoters and managers. And I understand they all do that well, but they have a heck of a lot more money than us little indies. So yeah. we have to be very inventive. Absolutely. And uh, so it's really great to have our music played on Hamilton and all these stations. And so then to also be recognized, um, yes, several charts, even across in Australia, have uh, put Bonfire on their charts in South Africa and Canada and UK. And it, it's really nice to know that your music's being heard around the world. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. But you do it. You, you do a great job in, in promoting it as well. Um, the, the, the thing about uh, the thing about Emery Pisuno that many people don't know. Anne and I are uh, pretty friendly, but um, she she has spent so much time researching how to go about getting her indie music out there, and it's a credit to you, Annie. Well, thank you. You know, I try. I think that if you're doing a lot of stuff yourself and you see people on social media either do a great job or they do a really bad job. So um, I think I learned, I also know my limitations. I know what I need to do next if I want to get to the next level. So I always believe that you should never, you should never think that you're too old or too established or at a certain level to not to not improve your not only your craft but your music yeah. your singing I'm always trying to learn something new and, and get better at what I do yeah for sure well you're very good at it and I, I must admit that, that there are people out there who do it quite poorly um, but you are at the opposite end of the scale so well done <laughs> yeah I want to say you know if you're a promoter whether you learn how to spell the name of the venue and the artist <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, honestly uh, I, and, and that sounds like a criticism, Criticism, maybe it is, but, you know, I would love to share some people's posts, and honestly, I can't, because they, they have them. either the title or the name yeah. or misspelled, and yeah. I don't think that represents things well, so I try and do things right, and I'm not perfect by any means, um, which is why, you know, with Bonfire... I could have done that song myself with all the parts, but the whole concept of the song was about helping people, yeah. spreading a positive message, bringing indie artists together, and of course that was Gene DiPiero's idea um, to, uh, to to write a song called Bonfire, sure. so I took his ideas, and um, you know, bringing all those artists on, I really wanted to help them as well as write a great song, and 
if you know my style of music by now, I love to write different thematic kind of parts and then usually near the end bring them all together and I think this song uh, really accomplished that. It is a song I'm proud of. I wish I could get it further and heard around the world so if anybody wants to hear the song or buy the song of course it's on all the digital media sites like iTunes and Amazon. It's on the website. Yeah, it is but they can... Huh? Yeah, go on. I was going to say, um, if you're having trouble or you, you don't wish to do the work yourself, contact the Super Indie Show. Contact Paul Mack. I'll tell you where to go to get it. Oh, awesome. Hmm? Yeah, and MariePaserno.com and also Reverb Nation forward slash Amplified Sound. The best thing you can do is just Google my name. And uh, I've got a cat on here, too. I guess she wants to say hi to you, Paul. <laughs> Gosh. She just jumped on my laptop, that's why. <laughs> Everybody's heard about Paul Mack. Oh, God. Yeah, all bad, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, he, so, t- he tends to play up a little bit. Yeah, hey, it's been a hellacious year. And uh, I want to let all the listeners know out there that that is, you know, the, the best thing that you can do is support not only the indie artists, but the radio stations that play them. They want to hear your feedback. Um, they want to know you tuned in. They appreciate when you share the post. Um, you know, it doesn't cost anything, so why not show a little love on social media? You know, Paul's a great guy. I know he. you helped me, uh, I want to say about three years ago when I first started getting into the internet radio. So... I really appreciate that, and thank you. And yeah, but also, uh, Emery, you, you've done a whole lot of work for the show, which I mentioned at the opening, um, where I thanked a few people for, for helping out, and, and, and you, lady, uh, have done just so much to promote not only the station, but the show itself, and I, I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Well, thank you. I consider you a friend and not only a great DJ. And, you know, I can see the care and attention you put into wanting to promote independent artists and their music. And, uh, you know, Bonfire really is a lot about people, not just musicians, but just people coming together. But how music helps bring people together. And, you know, there's traditions and celebrations around the world that celebrate with Bonfire's. There's a lot of history to it. And so to put it all together in a song and then have it be on the Super Indie Show and to be played around the world is is truly an honor. I don't know what the future holds. I've got a lot of big ideas. I do know I want to start a GoFundMe for the Iceman because I've been seeing him naked around Facebook. (laughs) We're going to raise some money to get him some clothes. Oh, dear. (laughs) He he keeps doing those ones, uh, those uh, live crosses from the tub. And, uh, yeah, I've got to avert my eyes at the appropriate moment. (laughs) (laughs) He's a sick puppy. (laughs) You know what? His hair looks good. That's because he's getting engaged to a beautiful hairdresser. Yeah, that's right. And she's right. a super nice girl. So I want to shout out congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> and look, look, he's a good bloke. I've, I've known Bobby for a lot of years, and, and we've become very good friends. Uh, you know, we share music between the shows, and, and we do all sorts of good things. Um, but look, Anne-Marie, it, it, I've got to go. It's been great talking to you tonight, and I thank you again, not only for your music, but for all the things you've done for myself and other artists around the place. Well, thank you, Paul. I hope you have an awesome new year and we love you. And anybody that would like to buy the tune and find out more about my music, please visit emerypaserno.com and thank you, Hamilton Radio. Absolutely do that. Emery, thank you very much. Have a Merry Christmas and I'll talk to you soon.